So, there's really only one thing that the World of Warcraft community is talking about at the moment. The quest is 100% happening. Arguing for classic cataclysm as well as classic plus. Classic plus is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. In about two months, we're gonna get classic plus. But while everyone is talking about classic plus, one of the things I've noticed is that it seems to mean something different to almost every other person. So I'm gonna break down the concept of Classic Plus in general, the forms it can take on, speculate as to whether we're gonna get it, and ultimately explain why I probably won't be playing it on this channel unless things change dramatically with World of Warcraft in the future. So stick around. But to begin to explain why people are so excited about Classic Plus, you need to know something about another MMORPG, and that is RuneScape. So RuneScape has had a flourishing but also controversial past, with many changes made to the main game by the developers, alienating a large majority of its players, including changing the entire combat system to be much more like a modern MMORPG. With these changes, many players demanded a return to the old style of the game. This was initially met with very few people actually playing the old style of the game, a, a small few who were very committed fans. But as time has grown, if you watch MMORPGs on YouTube, you can see that Old School RuneScape is flourishing. In fact, and I'll remember to put it up on the screen now, Old School RuneScape is vastly outperforming the modern version of the game. But what makes Old School RuneScape different from just a nostalgia server is that the development team for Old School RuneScape have actually added loads and loads of new quests and content, more than, frankly, I can keep up with. And it's really this that is getting people hyped about Classic World of Warcraft. They want to keep playing vanilla World of Warcraft, but they want to log in each month, each six months, each year, and have something new and interesting to do in a game that doesn't invalidate their progression year upon year with a new box price game. Imagine being able to play vanilla World of Warcraft and progress through a series of raid instances all the way from Molten Core and Zul'Grub to fighting the Lich King while still at level 60 with vanilla style mechanics and not really having to try hard the raid in the way that you might have had to in 25 Hardcore ICC. It would be a more relaxed game, but a game that was maybe richer in World of Warcraft lore and with more density of content all at level 60. You can imagine needing gear from the previous raids to progress the story. You might need gear from Black Temple to fight Arthras in ICC. You might need quests to progress that way. There could be a really rich World of Warcraft all at level 60 that allowed people to explore the world in a way that we've never seen before without many of the, I think, flawed ketchup mechanics that were in the final games. And now I'm just thinking about ketchup. I'm craving a hot dog. God damn it. Ladies and germs, I'm sorry I'm late, but my watch stopped. It had to. It's been running fast all week. <laughs> the point is, for a lot of World of Warcraft fans, this holds enormous potential. And that is what I'll call the maximalist view of Classic Plus. The view where we get everything any World of Warcraft classic fan could want. But there's also a more minimalist look at what Classic Plus might be. It might just be Classic Plus with a few class changes. It might be Classic Plus with an added dungeon here or there. Not the long-term commitment to providing a new full game the way that really old school RuneScape is if you compare to compared it to uh, the original RuneScape. And the World of Warcraft YouTubers I watch seem overwhelmingly certain that this is the one that we're more likely to get. A classic that's a little bit improved, maybe Dungeon Finder and class rebalancing and things like that, but not fundamental changes or large additions to the core gameplay. For my part, I'm not entirely sold on this idea. I think it's completely possible that with Microsoft now at the helm, and having seen the success of games like Old School RuneScape, and also Microsoft being a bit more savvy looking at the success of servers like Turtle Woe, who are 
totally actually doing that thing of adding radical new content and loads of new quests. To me, I really think Microsoft are a much more savvy company than Blizzard Activision. I mean, duh. But I can't imagine that they wouldn't be thinking about something more than just a Classic Plus. And the main reason I think that the minimalist version is maybe likely but would be a mistake is that I think a lot of people that don't want Classic to be changed would just be offended by the changes, whereas the people that want radical new content will just not find it interesting enough to spend any money. So now to address the main argument from people that don't think we'll get Classic Plus, and this may be true and it may not be true. But again, I want to use the example of RuneScape. So a lot of people have said that Blizzard will not do Classic Plus even under the helm of Microsoft because it will be too hard to monetize because for all of this new content that comes out, they won't be able to charge a new box price. Now, I think there is some logic to that, but I also think that it's sort of over-exaggerated because we're not expecting an entirely new expansion. We're not expecting entire class reworks, an entire new story. In fact, with Classic, they could, Classic Plus, they could probably just revamp a lot of the content from previous uh, expansions and adjust it for the level 60 cap. And they can probably recoup a lot of that money from the WoW token, which is exactly what Jagex have done with old school RuneScape. Now, it must be admitted that the majority of Jagex's earnings still do come from, believe it or not, microtransactions in the current version of RuneScape rather than old school RuneScape. But from what I can see of their financials, they're still making a profit on old school RuneScape. So it's not like this is a completely bad business decision. And by creating goodwill with the community, they might also create, create a situation where more people go back to playing retail. Because if it's all one subscription, it's a good look for them in general to just do well with their community. And we've seen Microsoft really encourage that with their treatment of Age of Empires 2 and the Age of Empires 2 community, where they seem to have built a really good rapport for a major gaming company. And that gets us on to the last point of this video, why I probably won't be playing Classic Plus even if we do get it, and that will be the way that it's monetized with the WoW token. I'm really enjoying Turtle WoW and just other private servers at the moment, because they're not pay to win, other than Warmate, which I still play occasionally, but they're just not pay to win. And I think that World of Warcraft Classic will be very cool if we do get the maximalist version. If we get the minimalist version, those changes won't really be enough for me to be more interested in it than I just was in Classic in general. I mean, for enthusiasts, it might make a difference one way or the other, but for me, it won't. But the more most important thing is that it will still be, that you'll still have, um, GDPK, you'll still have people buying runs, you'll still have gold buying being an essential feature of playing the game. And for me, that just ruins the game. I really enjoyed old school RuneScape until one day I was complaining to my buddy that my prayer was too low and he was complaining that his prayer was too low because we'd recently started old school RuneScape because if you don't know RuneScape, you had to actually make a new character for old school RuneScape. You couldn't import your old character from the modern game. So we were making those new characters. We were about two months in and my buddy decided to be nice and he spent like loads of money um, on bonds to buy enough dragon bones for us to get our prep into our 50s, which made a big difference in the game. But after we did that, I just felt horrible. Something about the idea of spending real money for power in computer games does not appeal to me. If it's a TCG, maybe. I mean, trading card games are based on that. Even if it's a gotcha game, which I don't really play anymore, but I can understand. I mean, that's part of the logic of a gotcha game. But in an MRPG, the whole point is the journey. And if pulling out your credit card just lets you skip the journey, I'm just out. But I do hope for the people that are enjoying World of Warcraft Classic at the moment that we do get a really robust and interesting Classic Plus. And who knows, maybe I'll stomach the pay to win and join in at some point. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm still a bit under the weather, as you could probably tell. But if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.